favorite like Jewish word? Um, does Yiddish count? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Uh, there's a lot. Schmutz is Schmutz that is a good one. Um, uh, Schmagegi is a fine one. Schmagegi? I'm not even sure if that is one. It's just, it's just something that sounds like it. Oy vey is a great one. Oy vey. It's just an exclamation of exasperation. I'm trying to think if you've said that for real. Oy vey. Oh, I say it sometimes. Oy yeah. gewalt is another one. The same, same idea. Yeah. Um, a mensch. Uh, a mensch is like a really sweet person. That oh, guy's yeah. a mensch. Oh, he's a mensch. Um, yeah, I, I, I love, I love, uh, Yiddish as a language. It's got a lot of oys, and a lot of shmish, like, shmish, yeah, it's got a lot of shmagangies. Yeah, yeah, it just, it uses vowel and consonant combinations that are very appealing. <laughs> I'll be appealing that banana. <laughs> oh my god! This, oi, this guy will be... Hey, yo, a little smuggle. Oh, you're supposed to bowl. Yeah. Wait, no, don't, don't. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna go back say, up and yeah. bowl again. Bowl him down, son. Oh, oh you can. can. All right, forget it. Hold on. Ah. Oh. I'm back up. And flick around. All right. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. stuck in the railing. Oh, whoa. Oh. With the yeah, kickback. Not many people get strikes on the rebound, woo. but woo. But it counts. Melon. <laughs> Melon. Oh, dude. Can I um Can I just make the recommendation that once we're done with Skyward Sword and once we're done with Kitty Love, you finish Dead Rising? Yes. Er, Dead Rising 2. Oh. How far did we get in Dead Rising 2? We got very far. We finished Dead Rising. D did we finish Dead Rising? Did yeah. we get far in Dead Rising 2? We, we, we got all the way to the end where, um... I'm talking about Dead Rising 1. We got all the way to the end where, uh, the army guys come, and then it got impossible, and then we just watched someone else play the ending. Oh, okay. Um, in Dead Rising 2, we were hours away from the military showing up. So, really? not that lo long at all. Yeah. We were so- Oh, cause that's the Zombrex one. Yes! With your daughter and- Oh, it's, it's oh, so God. funny, dude. We there were so fun. many great moments in that. Really? Oh, God, yeah. God, I don't remember. Maybe, maybe it's just because it, like, blends together with Dead Rising 1. Yes. Oh, that was like the WAP Goblin. Yes, yes! Ah, shit. No, oh, stop, my stop, oh, stop, oh, no. stop! Oh, no! Stop oh, it! Oh, I can't oh. get out! Ah, oh, you fuck! Wow, that guy was just tainting all over your stuff. Yeah, all my damn turnips or whatever these are. <laughs> <laughs> all my- <laughs> Oh my dang crops! <laughs> my crops are dying. Uh, so, so Dan. Wait, grab that cow and grab that shovel. Oh, never mind. Grab the shovel though, for yeah, sure. Okay. Dan, I um. The pickaxe. I'm sorry to keep interrupting. I'm trying to find the shovel. Oh, it's on the street. Oh, got it. Didn't look like a shovel to me. Not a lot looks like what it is in this game. Yeah. They do their best with what they got. Yeah. Um. Okay. Mm hmm So, uh, Super Mega Live yes. happened, uh, the other night. That's correct. And, uh, I was a part of it. No kidding. Yes. I would have loved to have been there. Oh, right on. I was- I was invited to a previous engagement before I knew that show existed. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Otherwise, I would have gladly supported our- our- our fresh, moist boys. Yeah. Oh, they are moist. Matt and Ryan. And oh. fresh. I often wonder which one's moister. But there was a, uh... <laughs> Why don't you- Why don't you come over here and find oh, out? Way to find out? Um... I- there was a gag where I was- where I was to come on stage as Santa, mm -hmm. Santa Claus. The, uh, the bringer of gifts during the Christmas season. Yes. And, uh, I did. I did do that, and, Did people uh, go wild? Uh, yeah, they liked the Santa. Did- did they know it was you? I- you know, I don't know. I feel like it was pretty obvious, but, um... I mean, some people did shout my name, so I think it was sort of like a, oh, 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 okay, that's him. Right. Um, but I came on stage and the gag was that, like, I don't get off stage because I'm excited to be on stage and I've been working on my tight five and... <laughs> right. And then Santa wants to do a tight five, right? So, like, yeah. before... That means a quick five-minute comedy set for yes. anyone who doesn't know the lingo. Um, so, I was like, well, if I go up on stage, and this wasn't planned, I was like, if I go on stage, 
and there's a type 5 situation, like, I feel like I should have a type 5. <laughs> In case that like sort of comes up oh, in, sure. in, the, in the midst of stuff and like I don't improv something shitty So I was like I gotta come up with a gag uh, Right before I go on so I'm standing in the wings mm -hmm. And I'm and I'm like okay I gotta come up with a gag And I fucking did and I, I wrote a whole damn Christmas joke Really? In the wings like like three minutes before I had to go on um, And I'd like to I'd like to share that joke with you I, I would love it if you did Okay Um Let's get through this. Royal one. Rainbow Barf. Uh, the funny thing is, I did tell the joke event uh, on on stage, mm -hmm. and uh, I Matt and Ryan interrupted me right at the punchline. Oh. So I didn't actually get to deliver the joke as oh. it was written, but it made it funnier because it was like very clearly that was the point where the punchline happens. And then he was like, "All right, so we're dead," and I was like, "Ah, you sons of bitches!" But it ended up being funnier. So sure, because the joke sucked. Um, so here we go. Here's the joke. Okay. All right. <clears throat> An elderly couple is sitting down for their Christmas Eve dinner. Okay. The man is, uh, very, very happy about that Christmas coming. Oh, Christmas is very exciting. But the woman, she's, she's upset, she's grouchy, and the man's like, Dear, w what's the matter? W why, why do you seem grumpy? It's Christmas Eve. Okay. And she says, well, I mean, just look outside. Our, our, our crops are all dying. It looks like a hay field out there. You know, we're not gonna make it through the winter. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. We need a Christmas miracle. Okay. The man looks out the window, like she says, and he and he goes, oh, well, "Honey, dear, looks like uh, looks like a Christmas miracle might be happening." She gets all excited. She's like, "Oh my gosh!" He goes, "Look at that! It's Santa and his sleigh flying through the air." And there he is, Santa and his sleigh flying through the air. And she says, "Doesn't that cheer you up?" And she says, oh, oh, "Gets all grumpy again." And he's like. Well, 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 what the heck? It's Santa. Like, what could be more of a miracle than that? And she says, I wasn't hoping for Santa and his sleigh. I was hoping for rain, dear. Oh, that's a good one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. Wow. Yeah. I wrote that in three minutes. In the pressure of having to go on stage. Wow. And they didn't get to... Wow. And, and it, it, it was, I, I was like, why I wasn't hoping for Santa to slay, I was hoping for it, and then they were like, all right, all right, <laughs> and that's like, okay, okay. Wow, all right, you sons of bitches. Yeah, but it was, it was, I mean, it was funny, like. W what's their show like? Uh, Super Mega Live? Yeah. Uh, it's very funny and entertaining. Is there extreme or only brief nudity? Uh, there, actually, mm -hmm. there is nudity. Yeah. Obviously. I'm not joking. I know my boys. This isn't a bit. There is actually nudity in the live show. Is it Matt? Nope. No? Mm -mm. How's that possible? Oh, it's just it's not Ryan, is it? Nope. Yeah, I don't, Ryan seems like the more demure of the two. Well, no, I've seen Ryan nude. Oh, well. Oh. He's been nude online before. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you the location of the Okay, alright, alright. Certainly wasn't their channel, if you know what I'm saying. Hey. Um, but yes, it was very funny. I don't want to give it away because the, the format is, you know, it's like... It's a good show. They put on a good show. Sure. There's, there's, a, there's a variety of things that happen. Mm -hmm. Um, very, very good time. There, there is a specific bit that is extremely good. Okay. Um, that I think they're probably going to add more of that kind of, of bit. Right. Because this is the first time they've gone on stage with this format. You know, they're testing it out, sure. greasing the wheels, seeing what sticks, seeing what doesn't, and, uh, you know, you just keep workshopping it. Great show. I love it. What's the nudity? What's the nudity? Yeah. Well, you'll just have to go and find Oh, it. Aaron, you can't do that to me. <laughs> whisper it to me. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna whisper it to you. Okay. Draw it for me. <laughs> show me with the dolls. Draw it. <laughs> I just take off all their clothes. That was the nudity. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> um, it was a. Uh, let's just say it was um, it was it was pornographic related. Ah uh, yes. Well, that 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 is. I I think, considering how not how long I've known him, I don't think anyone has ever sent me a more a, a larger amount of penises. Than Matt Watson in relation to how long he's known me. Oh yeah, like the the the, the schlong per month ratio 
is so much stronger with him than anyone else I've ever oh, yeah. met. I've I've been sent an asshole shitting huh. before. Yeah. Just that, diarrhea. That does that does sound like Matt. That yeah. does sound like Matt's work. Actually it was Matt was filming, but it was it was Ryan who was doing the show. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Those guys are close friends. Yeah, well times are ch changing, you know. I don't know if I'd use Matt and Ryan as the benchmark for the t the times. <laughs> I think they are kind of on their own tip completely. Own <laughs> tip. Yeah. Yeah. And they've and they've shared a lot of tips with each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Mushroom tips. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You like, know what like, I'm saying. Like wash your mushrooms before you cook them. Yeah. Kind of tip. I told you that story, right? Someone at I, I I was talking to this guy in a bar, and he just started talking about psychedelic mushrooms randomly, um, <laughs> at telling me not to eat a certain kind because we were in Amsterdam at the time. Oh, got it. Uh, where people. So it was food. relevant. Yes. And then as I'm walking away, I was like, "Thanks for the mushroom tip." He was like, "Don't say it like that." <laughs> <laughs> Shh! Don't say it out loud. Wow. Did you do that on purpose? I did not. Oh, it was just kind of like afterwards. A, I thought, like a, "Oopsie doodle." That, that's really funny. <laughs> Should tell that on a on a video game related show that yeah, I'm going to do in the future. Yeah, someday I'll share that with hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Thanks for the mushroom. <laughs> did you use the information? I didn't. I did not take psychedelic mushrooms while I was in Amsterdam. Oh well, shocks. I know. I know. I already figured I was. It, it, that that experience was weird enough. I didn't. I didn't need to be completely out of my mind. Yeah, nuts to that. Am I right? <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the drugs when you go to the land. That's what all the kids say. <laughs> wow, you just snatched that dude right off his motor scooter. Shwink, shwink. <laughs> There's a scooter just driving itself now. Oh, that kid's dead. Oh, well, you don't know. His family will not miss him. He's just been assimilated. I'm Poor. sorry, dead. <laughs> Damn, girl. I would assimilate that. Mmm, nice. I'm about to get into something don't right here. Call me the Borg, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, cause I'm about to assimilate dad ass. Okay, next-